Hey, and welcome to the Maria Fontana Show. I'm your host, Maria Fontana. And today we are going to talk about the importance of resting and detaching from the daily madness. So if you're new to my broadcast and listening to my podcast, I welcome you. If this podcast serves you well and makes you feel better, motivated, inspired, and feeling like you are ready to take on the world, then I want you to share, like, subscribe, and leave a review with what impact this podcast has had on you today. So today is a gloomy Saturday, and I'm recording this podcast sitting in my office. And I thought, you know, I wanted to really talk about rest and detaching. So as a three-decade entrepreneur, um, I've been on overdrive for many years. How many of you feel like you're constantly running on the hamster wheel, constantly trying to get to the next thing? Um, I am a mom of two. My kids are older now, but there's days where I feel like I'm just constantly rushing going. The days are just a blur. So I want to share a few things that I've learned personally over the years in my own experience of being able to really take back my time and enjoy my life and really thoroughly love being an entrepreneur and being able to show up better for myself. So the first thing I want to talk about is the power of resting. So resting is so underrated today. Nowadays, hustle is the new black And guys, I'm all for hustle because you do have to hustle. You do have to get shit done and you do have to put the work in, especially if you are self-employed and you are an entrepreneur because no one's coming to save you. But resting to me is the golden ticket to high performance. So hear me out. When I did nothing but run around and pressure myself, I became tired, I became irritable, I became a bitch. And that did not serve me because I couldn't show up for my business, for my clients, for my team, or for my family in a way that felt good. I couldn't show up for myself in a way that felt good. So I realized one day while I was you know, working on myself with one of my healers and coaches, and she said, what do you do to reward yourself? What are you doing to rest? Do you know I had no answer to that? That day changed my life because then I started to practice putting myself in my calendar, making appointments with myself, making sure I had two solid days off a week to either do nothing or do what fed my soul. Now, in the beginning, this was so uncomfortable for me because I'm a doer. You know, I'm a type A personality. I am a hustler. It's in my blood. So to do nothing was something that was totally different than everything that had been instilled in me in my upbringing, in my early years of being an entrepreneur from the time I was 19 years old, I was ingrained with hustle culture in my blood. So when I decided to actually invest in shifting these mindsets, it was not comfortable. It was awkward. I felt resistance. I felt irritated. But I will tell you, after months, it was day by day, week by week, month by month, I started to change and hold myself accountable to having appointments with myself, to having days off, and to feeling good about it. Now, I can't even imagine my life the way it was before. I mean, now I take four to six weeks off a year, sometimes more. I travel to my home in Italy. I take Saturdays off. I make sure a few times a week I do self-care things, which could mean go to my favorite coffee shop and just, you know, treat myself to a nice coffee. It might mean going to the hair salon and getting a facial or a blow dry or just getting my nails done or a pedicure. Like whatever that looks like, whatever feels good to you. And what feels good to you is going to be different for everyone. So honor what you want to do. Maybe just going for a walk on the beach or in the park or whatever that is, spending time with your cat, your dog, your kids, whatever that looks like, but put it in your calendar. And the second thing that has shifted my life, my career, my bottom line to a place of more abundance and feeling good, because what good is all the money if we feel like crap? 
right? I mean, I'm doing this 37 years. I've been an entrepreneur and a business owner of multiple businesses. Um, If you don't feel good, all the money in the world is useless. So the second thing I found to be really powerful is detaching from outcomes. Now, what does that mean? Sometimes we're so caught up in the outcome of a sale, in the outcome of what's going to happen in a situation in our business that we we, we become obsessed with it and we lose our peace. So by detaching from the outcome, meaning allowing the energy, the universe, let it all unfold the way it's just supposed to. When I learned to let go of the outcome, and that not so much let go of the outcome, but let go of the attachment to the outcome, everything flowed better. I felt better, sales closed better, the right clients came into my business, the wrong clients just kind of fell away and drifted away into the dust. There was no more resistance. So of course, you're going to get days where you fall off the wagon and you're going to get days where the shit hits the fan and things don't always go the way you plan. But the good news is this. I have learned from my own personal experience that you can just get right back up, get back on the horse, get back on your wagon that you fell off and keep moving forward. So I hope this inspired you today. If this really resonated with you and inspired you and motivated you, I want to share out this podcast. I wanted to share it with all your female entrepreneur friends and colleagues. I want you to leave me a review and let me know how this made you feel today and the impact that it had on you. Again, if you'd like to connect, I'm always happy to accept an application. The description is, uh, everything's in the description. My website's there and how to connect with me. I cannot wait to meet you personally. Have an awesome day.